It can be overwhelming to start as a newbie in real estate. After 18 years in the business, I realized that some of the things I did early in my career set the tone for my success. Hello, my name is Vicki McPhee. I'm the team leader of the McPhee team at Keller Williams Peace River Partners Realty in Port Charlotte. Let's take five minutes to talk about what you can do today that will set you on the path to success. One of the first things I did was join a brokerage where I knew I could find a mentor. Before I became a realtor, I was head of the mortgage department at a large regional bank. While at the bank, one of my loan officers decided to get into real estate. She became my broker. She encouraged me to become a condo specialist, helped me create marketing materials, taught me how to farm, and allowed me to pick her brain. Having someone who knew the business teach me how to run my business was invaluable. Next, I learned all I could about local markets and niches. Since I was a condo specialist, I researched condominium floor plans, read condominium documents, memorized amenities, went to caravans to view new listings, and more. Whatever niche or farm you choose, pick at least 10 properties in that farm or niche and preview them. Get to know the neighborhoods and the model homes offered. I also built a database of everyone I knew. I wrote down names of people from school, neighbors, friends, acquaintances, and so on. And I started with family. Then I called each of them and told them I was building a contact list and was missing some of their information. It's a great reason to call and let them know that you are a real estate professional. Today, a new agent can go to Facebook and pull together a list in minutes. Many real estate professionals think they are too busy to get involved in their local association or networking groups. Honestly, you can't afford not to get involved. One of the first things I did was join the Women's Council of Realtors. I went to my local association networking events, Florida Realtors meetings, and the National Association of Realtors conventions, and built relationships with realtors all around the country. One year, after attending quite a few events, I decided to add up the commissions I had made as a result of referrals from realtors at these events. At that time, I had made in excess of 50000 just by networking with other professionals, and that number has continued to grow. While knowing your product and market is vital, so is creating a listing presentation that differentiates you from your competition. I've always tried to make my marketing pieces better and more polished than anyone else's. I used a canned presentation from my company and personalized it extensively. I tweak it constantly to add more current information, and I personalize it to each prospective seller. The key is to have a good base presentation early in your career and build on it as you gain more experience. Another thing I did early on is get to know the real estate contracts, addendums, and listing agreements. I attended education classes at my local association and at Florida Realtors conventions to learn the contracts paragraph by paragraph. The instructors taught me how to fill in each blank, explain the purpose of each paragraph, and gave me the foundation so that I could successfully help buyers and sellers execute these contracts. Of course, this list is just the beginning, but if you do these six things, you'll find that you will quickly earn the respect of other realtors as well as of prospective buyers and sellers. A little work on the front end can go a long way towards a healthy and lengthy real estate career.